Wayne, you think I picked up a bit of your camels there, huh? With your deep voice. Uh, it certainly sounds like it. Because it, it, it comes to you naturally, doesn't it, with those cigarettes? Serious, yeah. uh, what do you call them? Cancer sticks? Yeah. Hmm. We're allowed to say that on national radio, public oh, radio. Sure. Yeah, because there's no cigarette advertising allowed. Mm. So, mm. Uh, Mr. McCurry, the stock market again was up it's today. It's good, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you think that it's, it's almost like the worst is behind us? Alec, it would appear so at the moment, but you don't know what next week brings in this market. Look, let's not even discuss if this is a bear market rally or a dead cat bounce or whatever you want to call it. Even if it is, it may still have longer to go. You know, normally, even if, it's, even if you're still in the bear market, you can have a bear market rally and you can retrace 40% of your losses, which means the market must go to, I call it 24,000, and that's currently 21,000. Mm -hmm. But certainly a good day driven, quite frankly, right across the board, but the real power came out of resources. Well, let's just keep it in perspective, because towards the end of 2008, um, the, this market was nearly at 35,000. So yeah. to be down at 20,000 or 21,000, as you said, yeah. Just Don't kind of put that in perspective. There's some big, big movers though. Pomozzi Gold. We're going to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, Sappy though, the the fallback there. Yeah, but look, Sappy. I mean, Sappy has been absolutely destroyed over the last couple of months. But in the last week or two, it has bounced up seriously. I mean, there was a couple of days where it went up 10% a day for a few days. So I suppose falling back 10% now, you know, literally. It's risen too quickly, too soon. It isn't unusual for, but I don't think anything's changed in SAPI. It has just risen, you know, virtually perpendicularly, and it has pulled back to pull back a little bit now. And the dimension data, Jeff did mention up 13% yeah, today. It's, it's interesting that because there's no specific news on it that I could pick up anywhere as to why die data, die data would go up 13%. But the big drivers today, Anglo-American 5, Bulletin 3, and the... Uh, Platinum shares, 5%. Those mm -hmm. are the big drivers. But a green day virtually across the board, except for the banks. The banks were down about 2%. Big volumes in Old Mutual. Yes. If, Look, you, if you believe that um, Old Mutual, as I think it was Pete Fulian was saying, is actually a U.S. corporate bonds play that, that happens to own, a, own an insurance uh, own a company, life company yeah. um, it, it must be offering some potential. Well, look at it this way. Um, the share is now at 6 Rand. It was done at 450 or something like mm -hmm. that. It's now at 6 Rand. We think our company thinks it's worth ten rand, and Old Mutual thinks it's worth fifteen rand. You know, so Corky Coyman also thinks it's yeah. worth fifteen. So, rand. so make make up your mind. Mm. And the real danger, yeah, there were two dangers. The one was a remote danger that it wouldn't be solvent, but that wasn't really taken seriously by anyone. The big danger was the possibility of a rights issue, and that danger seems to have been have been put to bed now. So, I would think that at six rand, even at six rand, after the big rally that it's had. It's probably still good value. Now, the corporate bond issue, uh, corporate bonds that it owns Correct. in the United States, isn't that also a concern that if some of those go bust, some of those yes, companies go bust? Yes, and look, obviously it's a concern, but according to the research we've done in it, before there's another major problem in old mutual, you must get a 15% default rate. Now, that happened, that has happened once before, which was the 1929 recession. A normal default rate will be in the region of about 6 or 7%. In other words, if 6, per, six or 7% of their bonds, the companies go bankrupt and don't pay the bonds, it will actually be positive for Old Mutual. You can close your eyes and buy the shares now. You would think so. Hmm. Wayne McCurry, the other issue, just before we move on to our next story, the volatility index today, 35%, keeps coming back. So it shows it would that be, the, yeah. the fear index is, is receding slightly. It would look like it, yes.